red blood cells and white blood cells. Relationship between red blood cells and white blood cells. In order to understand the relationship between the number of red and white blood cells in blood vessels and understand their impact on the body, it is necessary to examine their respective functions and their range from normal values. Red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues and carbon dioxide from the tissues back to the lungs. The number of red blood cells directly affects the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Not enough red blood cells can lead to a lack of oxygen, which can affect organ function and overall energy levels. White blood cells protect the body from infections, foreign invaders and perform immune functions. The number and type of white blood cells are crucial for identifying and fighting infections in foreign bodies. An imbalance can lead to a weakened immune response or excessive inflammation and tissue damage. Changes in red blood cell and white blood cell counts can serve as indicators of a variety of diseases, from infections and immune system disorders to chronic diseases and cancer. Common ranges of red blood cells Men typically contain 4.2 to 6.1 million cells per microliter. Women have 3.7 to 5.2 million cells per microliter. Normal range of white blood cells. Adults, 4,200 to 11,000 cells per microliter. The relationship between red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cell and white blood cell count balance. Balanced red and white blood cell counts indicate normal physiological function. Red blood cells ensure efficient delivery of oxygen to tissues, and white blood cells provide adequate defense against infection and disease. High red blood cell count. It may be caused by polysemia vera, chronic hypoxia, or living at high altitudes. Increased blood viscosity can lead to high blood pressure, blood clots, and an increased risk of stroke or heart attack. Low red blood cell count may be caused by nutritional deficiencies, chronic illness or bone marrow disease. These effects can cause a reduction in oxygen supply, leading to fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. High white blood cell count It may be a reaction to infection, inflammation, stress, leukemia, or other immune system disorders. This means the body is fighting an infection or disease but chronically high levels may indicate an underlying health problem, such as leukemia. Low white blood cell count. It can be caused by bone marrow problems, autoimmune diseases, serious infections, or certain medications. These effects may lead to an increased risk of infection and signs of a weakened immune system. The relationship between red blood cell and white blood cell counts is critical to maintaining overall health. A decrease in white blood cells weakens the immune system, making the body susceptible to infection. While a decrease in red blood cells can cause anemia, which can lead to fatigue and weakness. Deviations from the normal range may indicate a health problem that may require medical attention.